Dorothy Day, Servant of God. Dorothy Day, who died on November 29, 1980, was widely regarded as the radical conscience of the American Catholic Church. A convert to Catholicism, she had spent her youth engaged in the struggle for social change and a restless search for love and community. The great turning point in her life came in 1926 as she was living on Staten Island with a man she deeply loved when she discovered that she was pregnant. Her daughter's birth was the catalyst for a profound conversion. She decided to have her child baptized, a step she followed in 1927, though it meant a painful separation from the father of her child who would have nothing to do with marriage. In 1932, after meeting a Frenchman, Peter Morin, she found a way to integrate her faith with her passion for justice and the cause of the poor. Together they launched The Catholic Worker, a paper that promoted the social message of the gospel. This gave birth to a lay movement combining voluntary poverty, hospitality, and the works of mercy. While offering a prophetic witness for peace and nonviolence, Day and her companions were repeatedly arrested for acts of civil disobedience, all the while her activism was rooted in a disciplined life of prayer and sacrament. Her cause for canonization was initiated in 2000, and she was named a servant of God. In his speech before Congress in 2015, Pope Francis, citing her among four great Americans who offer us a way of seeing and interpreting reality, praised her commitment to justice and the cause of the oppressed. About the oppressed, she once said in great frustration, but there was another question. Why was so much done in remedying the evil instead of avoiding it in the first place? Where were the saints to try to change the social order? Not just to minister to the slaves, but to do away with slavery.